What's up guys, the Anime Sage here, and I'm coming to you with another video. So this is What If um, Kushina and Mikoto um, were sisters. So essentially they're both Uzumaki. Let's get right into it. So this the story will take place. Um, instead of Kushina being one of the last surviving Uzumaki, Mikoto is her sister and she comes with her. Um, and around the same time, I think the story um, uh, changes up until a certain point where we get our first major change. The incest cycle ends, baby! Yay! <laughs> when Fugaku uh, marries uh, Makoto. Yeah, it's that's actually really dark when you think about it. The inc um back in like Naruto, there it's a bit of evidence that, that um uh, there might be a little bit of um uh, that um uh, sweet home Alabama stuff going on if you know what I'm saying. Um, but if we change uh, Makoto into an Izumaki and Gushina and Makoto are sisters. Um, I think that, well, first, we get our first, well, that cycle ends, essentially. Um, and another big change will come a little bit later, but with this, we get a combination of what if Sasuke and Itachi were half Uzumaki, while uh, Makoto was full Uzumaki, of course. Um, Shina, of course, would still have the Nine Tails Steel Insider, um, and Sasuke is still born. Um, a month earlier, and Kushina still gets pregnant. She still gets with Minato. Um, you could all, and I, before I continue, I think people would probably argue, well, why would Fugaku get with Makoto? I don't know if there's any th other reason that Fugaku still wouldn't go with Makoto besides she's not in Chia. Um, but I think um, uh, the fact that Fugaku got with Makoto in the first place, I mean, there had to be some form of love between them, right? Like, you know, I don't think I don't think that just because she's not full she's not in Chia this time around wouldn't change that. That's the thing. Um and so the big change would happen at around the attack of the nine tails. So Minato um in the village would still probably fight as normal. And all this and the interaction with um uh, Obito, um and the fight with Minato still happens, Naruto still gets captured. Well, for a second, and then they, and then, of course, Obito ends up taking Kushina anyway. Well, me, me until he gets his son back, um, and um, uh, Kushina still gets the Nine Tails extracted from her. But a big change that I think that I was talking to about the person who suggested this what if, who is my boy Mega Mac, um, we said we thought that since Makoto was a full Uzumaki, she could have knowledge of the A-Trigram ceiling. So, instead of Minato sacrificing his life to save the village, it's Makoto Uzumaki in this case, or now Uchiha, since she's married to Fugaku. So, and so, and at, because at that point, Minato had probably used a lot of his chakra trying to use the Hiroshin, um, and but since Makoto was a fully capable Uzumaki who's going to be on the field because they would probably allow her to go onto the field because of the fact she has Uzumaki lineage due to the village attack. She's not full. She with another Uzumaki there, she could seal the um, uh, Nine Tails into Naruto and no, and probably Minato because I think that I don't know if that have, or actually I could probably seal it into Makoto. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, let me know if you want me to uh, to have me to keep the nine tail seal inside of him, or do we want to have um, Makoto have a seal back inside, um, have half of it? I could try Kushina, but I don't know if she would have. But the problem is, I don't know if she would have lived with half the nine tail. Um, and also, I don't know if I could have Kushina survive in this one because. Well, I think because I can't stop Hiruzen from being an idiot. Because if I remember how that arc turned out, I f uh, Uzumaki's can live even with the Nine Tail Extractor. We've seen that with Kushina, but with Ku but she could have lived if Hiruzen had bought. I believe if she Hiruzen had bought some medical ninja to help her to help her out, which is and if I'm wrong about that, correct me. Um, but at the same but and at this point in time, I I don't know if there's anything that I could do to stop that from happening so at the end of the day Kushina still dies and Makoto will sacrifice her life and it will just have to depend on where it gets sealed into it will definitely half of it will definitely be Naruto but should I have it sealed into Makoto or back into 
uh, Minato. I think I'm gonna lean towards Makoto because there is, because it's not Minato doing the ceiling this time, it's um, Makoto this time around. Since, and she would be able to seal it, and again, she'd be able to seal it because she's fresh, essentially, coming onto the battlefield. She has, so with her Uzumaki lineage and stuff like that, she'd be able to seal it inside of Naruto and herself because she's fresh while Minato had been using the Hiroshin and had been going up against like Obito. He wasn't at full strength when he put out the nine the um when he sealed the nine tails. So there was um but Makoto fresh as an Uzumaki can have it sealed inside of of herself and Naruto and Minato will actually live in this one. So there also be a couple of major significant changes with based on how this timeline goes. Miento and Fugaku, they bond over the death of their wives, so they become good friends. Um, Naruto's childhood, well, he'd be looked upon as, a, I think he'd be looked upon as a hero, because Miento's still alive and could probably tell a little bit more context of what happened, than that it was a man ma with a ma in a mask that caused the entire event. So I think Uchiha relations would um, uh, be strengthened within the village, and the Uchiha massacre as a result doesn't happen, especially with Minato still acting as the fourth Hokage. Um, another major change, of course, would be no, technically Naruto and Sasuke are cousins. So there's a bit of family lineage here. Um, another big change, Naruto gets a bit of a bond between people like Shishui, um, Kakashi, and of course, um, Itachi. I think you would have a bond between uh, Nar um, Fugaku because it's um, uh, his dad's, uh, his cousin's dad, um, Minato, of course, and I think Jiraiya, because he would co probably come on occasion to help out Minato. But the problem is that Jiraiya has his, still probably has his spy network going on to be there enough, and uh, Fugaku and Minato would have their clan duties. It's essentially a bit of a Boruto problem, but I think Naruto and Sasuke would be more understanding based off of the circumstances. Um, but the real ones that they'd be able to bond with are, of course, Kakashi. Um, Shisui and Itachi Uchiha, Uchiha, who in this version, of course, has half Uzumaki lineage. Um, so I think another big change is, do you want, I think Danzo would probably be forced to, me and Mega Mac also talked about this as well, I think Danzo could leave the village as well, because of the fact that I don't think Minato would be able to bow down to freaking Donzo of all people. So in set so Donzo could leave with Orochimaru and they become villains, major villains a little bit later. Instead of him being in the village and being allowed to do have free reign with and Hiruzen at this point would be an advisor, but since and eh, to uh Minato. So he no longer has he doesn't have to be the Fergo Kage, he just can be a, a good advisor. So that's a pretty good result. Uh Naruto in this one, he'll be very strong he'll be pretty strong. He'll have Wind and Water Cell Jutsu. I'm going with, since the last one, if I went with Gale Palm, I'm going with Great Breakthrough and Water Bullet as two techniques that he can learn. And then with Sasuke, I'm making him a little bit stronger in canon because I think with both of them, they'll be trained with each other for a very long time. And I think they would probably, and I think Itachi and Shishu would help with the training a little bit by the time they reach like six before they reach the academy. And so by a certain point, Sasuke will probably have not only the Fireball Jutsu, but also, I think, Lightning Bullet. Uh, that I, I think I think that might be an actual technique. If not, I just invented it. It's kind of similar to, like, Air Bullet, Wind Bullet, and Water Bullet. You know what I'm saying? Um, another big change, I think there would be a bigger bond between characters like Hinata, because um, Naruto is now seen as the son of, of, seen as a bit of a hero, I guess, because Minato has cleared some stuff up. There is going to still be some form of apprehension because he has the beast, but it's not going to be as widespread. It's only going to be like, let's just say like 1% of the leaf population, let's just say. There's going to be some form of apprehension, but a lot of people are going to see Naruto as a hero, and and um, uh, they're going to see Minato as a hero and everybody else. Um, especially, and Mikoto is going to be looked upon as a major hero as well, so she has a lot more significance as a character. And they'll also see Kushina as a major, as a bit of a hero as well. Um, and by the way, Kushina was a very strong Kunoichi. Like, she could cold down the Nine Tails and she could still, and she lived even despite extraction. Like, man, she was a strong Kunoichi. <sighs> man. Um, 
I think I've covered some of the major changes for this part zero of of this what if. Um, so I guess so. I'm gonna leave it here, leave it there. Uh, um, give me some feedback if you think I could I could change a couple things or something or whatever. Um, let me know if if you, uh, let me know what you thought of the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. That's notifications are very important because I want to make sure people are getting my videos. Um, and uh, this has been the Anime Sage. Sign out. Peace.